This is how I'm doing today, traders. Boeing um, is just over $2,000, but um, I do have 400 shares, which maybe stops soon if it moves over 348. So you see that I kind of losing another, possibly another $400 here if it moves over 348. So anyway, Boeing was my best trade today. Beyond was great too. That was smaller size. I also had small size in Roku. Both of them were small size, mainly because I was doing so good with, Beyond, with Boeing and I didn't see a great opportunity in both of them. I was wrong about Beyond because it behaved very nicely. Anyway, I'm going to finish my day just over two grand, which is great. I love to start my week in green. So let's uh, take a quick look at my trades today and why I chose them. First one here is Boeing. Let me open this chart up so you guys can see that. So first one is Boeing and Boeing, as you can see, it was on my list uh, to start with. It was one of my picks, the one I posted pre-market. Why did I do that? Well, the, the, there was some bad news in, in, in Boeing today and it started with a gap down. Initial move was down, then a pullback, then a nice continuation. I posted it under 347, which was a very nice technical formation right over here. And it did come down very nicely and that gave us plenty of time to take the partial here it moved down two points stop was around one point target um, apparently was uh, uh, not bigger and uh, and then it failed so spiked up came down came up again I thought it probably going to continue coming down and I reshorted it under 347 right here it didn't do well. I mean, maybe it's going to do well later, but it's just going sideways right now. And I do have my stop over 348, which is again, a very nice technical formation. As you can see here, if it moves over 348, it's probably going to continue higher. Hard to say. Anyway, take a good look at the daily. The daily is very, very important. When you make a decision to go short or long, doesn't matter. When you make an intraday decision to take a, short, a stock anywhere, you should definitely look at the daily at all times. So what we're seeing in the daily, we all know that Boeing has some issue with this uh, um, seven, whatever, can't remember the name. Uh, what was it? Whatever number of uh, jet it has. So we do have, uh, they do have this issue. It crashed down recently. It's trying to make its way up. But if you just look at 737 max, thank you. If you just take a look at the daily, technically speaking, it crashed down, trying to make its way back. That looks to me like a very clear, you know, you know, even if you believe in Fibonacci, this is the, around the Fibonacci mark. Let me try and look at the Fibonacci. I don't really believe much in Fibonacci, but a lot of traders are working according to this. So you got to give it some respect. So let's try and see the Fibonacci here. This is from the recent high to the recent low. And this is around the place where um, it should return and come down and it did return and come down. Therefore, technically speaking, based on the daily, Boeing should come down. You take a look at the trade like this and you wonder what the intraday should look like. It should come down. It did come down. We had a nice partial. Second trade, always, always, always move in very small size. So my second trade was 400 shares, which could hit me with $400. See, my first trade, I made $2,400. So that, just to give you an example here, you move into a second trade, you think you got a second winner. You usually are a bit biased. Why? You already took a trade, you made money in, you, it, it was my best trade today. So why am I biased? I'm biased because I'm, I'm looking at the stock and I'm thinking, Probably I understand it. Probably it's going to continue coming down. I wasn't wrong. I was looking at the daily. I was looking at the intraday. It worked out like a charm. So taking a second tra trade is usually something you shouldn't do. And if you do make a, take a second trade, you should consider the fact that you probably think you know a lot about the stock, which is never true. You probably think like you have some kind of an advantage. You understand the stock. When I'm saying about understanding the stock, you know what I mean, right? So nobody really understands the market. Nobody really understands the stock you're trading. You take a second trade in stock, ridiculous number of shares. So I could lose $400 out of my $2,400 that I made earlier. 
and that's the maximum I would spare in Boeing. I could make the same, maybe I will, but right now it doesn't look, does not look like I, I, I would. Anyway, you take a second trade, very small size. Uh, let's move to my loser today, which was Roku. Now, taking a look at Roku, Roku was trending higher, very, very strong. I posted it for a short. Where did I post it for a short? Right here, right? 122, right. I posted it for a short at 122. And <clears throat> I think that was here. So it moved higher, it failed, came down. Tried to move higher again, failed, came down. 122 looked like a nice shorting opportunity right over here. Well, obviously I was wrong. It's a loser. It moved up. I was out. And let's take a look at the daily here. The daily looks amazing. R main reason I shorted this one was because of the daily. So crash down recently, try to make its way up on Friday, not very likely to make it. I bet if you're going to look at Roku the next week, by the end of this week, it's going to be under this. So if you're thinking about taking a, I don't know, swing trade, I wouldn't do that. I mean, maybe under 122 under the low of the day, if you're thinking about swinging a trade like that. But anyway, the daily suggests it should come down strong. Stocks that are crashing this way don't usually make their way up. It could happen, of course, not very likely. So I'm looking at the daily, I'm thinking, well, cool should calm down. I'm looking for an opportunity. 122 looks like a nice technical formation. It bounced from here, came under, that's a whole number. It should continue coming down. Initially, it did, 50 cents, not much. Maybe at the end of the day, it's going to come back down to the lows. But really, it's just going sideways. And at one of its pullback, it took me out because I should have a stop somewhere. So it took me out. Um, the nicest trade, really, I had today wasn't Boeing, although that was the first one and with more quantity. Beyond was the nicest trade. And that was a trade that was posted in the trade room, not by me. I supported it. It looked great. So take a look at uh, Beyond and look at how lovely it looked. I mean, it started without any gap, then came down very strong. Tried to move higher, failed, came down again. Tried to move higher, failed. Beautiful, amazing, technical formation under $78. Just doesn't come much better than this. So we took this one under 78, made a huge move to 75 something. So that was a beautiful trade. Although I took it with small size. The reason I took it with small size, it was a bit later, wasn't the first few minutes. You can't expect the momentum to work the first, uh, like it worked with Boeing, for example. And I was nicely green in Boeing and I wasn't ready to give that money back. So I was risking like $700, trying to make $700. I was thinking, okay, I'm up $2,400 in Boeing. I'll risk approximately a third of that. And... That was the idea of taking the Beyond trade. So Beyond worked out beautifully. Look at this breakdown here and continued. So I'm, I moved out to Beyond. Now, again, always, always, always look at the daily. Here's Beyond the daily. It's coming down so strong recently. It's coming down so strong. Now, a very small attempt to move higher on Friday. But then, you know, just look at the trend. It's crashing down. I mean, it's still over the IPO price, which was here. But then again, it's coming down so strong, daily suggests it's going to come down. So if you look for a stock that is trending lower without a gap today, nice technical formation, you can join it and probably going to continue coming down today. So that's the only thing I can say. Market's not going anywhere. I was hoping to get the 30 minute reversal mark, which was around here. Didn't really get it, although the market did not move much higher. But anyway, the 30 minute reversal on a Monday morning was didn't work today. Anyway, a nice green day for me, uh, just over two grand. I'm still holding the last 400 shares in Boeing, hoping it's not going to make it over my stop. If it does, then I'm probably going to be just under $2,000. Anyway, nice way to start my week. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed the trading session today. I'm done for today. Thank you very much for being with me. And you guys on YouTube, if you don't mind giving us a thumb up, that would help our channel. We will appreciate that. Thank you all for participating today. And uh, hope to see you all tomorrow. Bye, traders. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14-day trial. TradeNet has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004, and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities. Click here to start your free trial. 
If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.